What it do, my baby booze, and welcome back to my channel for another episode of Let's Play The Sims 4, The Rose Legacy, An Ultimate Decades Challenge. <laughs> So I have been wanting to get my hands back on this save game ever since we got horses. So I went ahead and remade his horse, his horse Toffee. And he is trying to get the hang of riding Toffee. Like, let's just show you. He's struggling a little bit. Oh my God. <laughs> But know what that was. I think Toffee sneezed or something. I don't I don't know. But we're going in to the uh the market square right now to get a wedding cake. We're actually getting married in just a couple hours. So I I don't know if we should even bring our horse into the square. I'm not sure if that's allowed. It's like all brand new to me. What does this say? Oh my god, I don't even know. Holy crap. I hear you're good at haggling. Why don't you just let me take you to the flea market? Oh no. Today's our wedding day. Like, I'm not even supposed to be at this market. After we get married though like I am so gonna start my dedication to the roses that we want to sell we have tons and tons of roses in our inventory we have 10 red roses they're 29 simoleons a piece though five black roses which are 10 simoleons a piece we have pink ones which are five that's not too much but it's still something and I think that might be it I thought we had more but we have daisies and we have a dahlia and a chrysanthemum like we have tons and tons of flowers what the the hell this lily is 36 simoleons seriously wow so yeah let's just get off of toffee right now and we're gonna go head into the bakery where there are a few cakes that they have here so let's just go here and and try and get our wedding cake for the day yeah toffee just chilled counting on you to bring me to the church on time all right we're just gonna go ahead and pick out a cake real quick oh girl I mean, boy, <laughs> whatever. Listen to Toffee. You were just over there. Come here. Listen to what mama tells you. We have three cakes to choose from. We have a winter cake. Gorgeous. It's only 30 simoleons. A carrot cake, which is 25. And a tiered cake, which is 30 again. I'm a little more partial to the winter cake because it just looks apart, you know? I don't even know if they did tier cakes, especially for peasants. But the carrot cake is definitely traditional and they would have carrots. But this, I feel like, would just have been foraged berries and like stuff that's all natural. So I think we're going to go for the winter cake we're just gonna buy that item and we'll have it in our inventory ready to go for our wedding let me actually just share with you the wedding details you know today is our wedding ceremony starts at 2 p.m at sanctuary church so we have him and katarina as the bride and groom of course and i didn't have any like sim of honor or like anything like that we just have our guests i ended up inviting my family his mom and dad and his sister she also also is gonna be bringing by a date and then we have Katarina's uncle and sisters and that's pretty much it it's gonna be kind of a small ceremony there are some people he didn't really know of so I'm gonna have to invite them manually we're gonna meet a lot of her family and you're gonna meet a lot of his family I'm pretty excited about that we have to pee and eat and all the things before we um, have to end up leaving let's go ahead and use the bathroom he wants to take her to the theater the newly built theater on the dock and I think that's a great idea. It's a lounge, but I, I spent a long time creating it. At first it was gonna be a fish market, but then I was like, but we already have a market square, so it's kind of weird. I love how he just pees in all of the all of the like luggage. Toffee, what do you want? Maybe are you hungry or something? Let's talk to Toffee a little bit. We have a little bit of time before the wedding. Let's scratch Toffee's neck and then clean hooves. We also have another surprise for Katarina, but we'll we'll show you when the time is right when we show Katarina as well. He's so, so excited to finally have a wife, a blushing bride. Can't wait to expand his family and have lots of babies and be a great daddy. Peter just became friends with Toffee. Perfect, I love that. Toffee likes you. Debate saddled responsibility, what in the hell? We have the jester, so his brother, so this is Joaquin, Sergio Romeo, I made them brothers, and Sergio is going to be Peter's sister's date. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. That's such a cute picture. Hold on, hold on, hold the phone. That is so cute. Anything for a cute picture-la. picture -la -la, la la Oh my God, the queen is riding a bike. I don't want to talk about it. So I guess we don't have much to do until the actual... Oh, girl, I know, I know. Oh, wait, you're a boy. He's feeling 
fine. Everything's good. Good, good, good. Excellent. Perfect. Oh, oh my God. Oh my God. Toffee, you did not. I know, I Peter. Know. I know. Right on oh. your shoes. Poor Toffee's like, I'm sorry. Oh, no, he's not. He's just going to go to sleep. He's finally leaving us alone. So can we do anything else? He is hungry. So maybe we can just buy ourselves like some kind of snack. They have baked pears and bread pudding. Ooh. How much is the bread pudding? 23. 25. Everything's so expensive. In this economy, 270 simoleons for some baked pears. What kind of what kind of economy is this a joke? Let's just buy the baked pudding. Oh, wait, I have apples. You know what? Screw that. Screw that. Screw that. Screw that. We have an apple. Eat your apple for free. We are peasants. We cannot just be out here spending all our money. Did that, did that help your hunger a bit? Not that. But let's eat another one. While we're at it, here's some guava. Eat some of that too. Wedding ceremony starts soon. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, it does start in an hour. That is a big ass thing of guava. Holy crap. Excuse me, ma'am. Can I help you? Employee, Angela Pleasant. Look at Angela. Boy, what? Are you cold? What is that? Oh, he's chilled. Oh, okay. This is his cold weather wear, but I feel like it's a little much. Like it's only fall. So I'm gonna just kind of chill at the market until it's time to go. We'll just view some of the stands, you know, just have ourselves brand old time. Not that I'm buying anything. Is this real? Are those real? I was like, ooh, a watermelon. Nope, not a thing. Okay. Oh, they have dolls here. Oh, I can't wait to have a kid. Look, we could so get a little doll for our future daughter. Oh my God, Toffee just ran away. Okay, you guys, I'll catch you at the wedding venue. Okay, you guys, we have made it to the church. Let me just introduce you to a few people. So this right here is Lucia. This is Peter's sister. Her last name is actually not Rose, it's Harmon. And I'm not even really sure why that ended up happening. Something went like haywire and cast. This is his sister. I'm just gonna say that she is a widow. So her last name is Harmon, but she is in fact a Rose. And this is the boy that she brought with her. This is Sergio Romeo. He's actually so cute. I think he's adorable. I love I love him I <laughs> like I love the skin that he has and everything he's so he's so cute and um and that's her date for this um affair we have Peter here in his nicest clothes this right here is the only guest besides um Katarina's sisters from her side of the family this is her uncle her brother's um or her father's brother her father passed away a while ago as you probably may have guessed he's nowhere to be seen even though the cottage that all the girls live in is called the fisherman's cottage he was a fisherman, their father, but he ended up passing away. His boat was capsized out on the sea. And um, and now all they have really for family is each other and their uncle here. You can kind of see the resemblance. They're both redheads. <laughs> um, Katarina is looking absolutely gorgeous. And then we have the rest of the guests actually just ran back here for some reason. So of course, you know, her sisters, Ulrich and Maiki, Ma, Ma, Maiki. This is um, Peter's mother. Her name is Constance. Constance Rose. I think she's dancing. I don't know, but she has the most beautiful green eyes. And then this is Peter's father, Donovan Rose, and he just went straight for this weird instrument thing. Everyone's just doing the jig. Everyone is jigging and getting down, even though he is not really knowing what he's doing. What are you? Oh, okay. Hi. So everyone just went straight up. Oh no. They just went straight up to the back of the church where we're going to have our little ceremony. It looks like they want to have the ceremony first or not the ceremony, the, uh, the, the dinner or whatever. But, um, we're going to go ahead and actually walk up this. Are we talking to the king? Is the king here? My guy chat with King Stefan on your wedding day. I mean, sure. Where is he? Is he close by? I don't, I don't see him. So we're going to walk up this aisle right now. And actually, first of all, I'm just trying to make sure that this is the correct way. Okay, I think we're good then. So he's gonna sit here or stand here and wait for Katarina. First, we're gonna go ahead and go to ceremony activities and we are going to say, please take your seats. Everyone needs to stop dancing. We are not doing this yet. Take your seats, bro. Oh my gosh. Everyone, please take your seat. Now I can't even tell them to do it again. Okay, what is happening? Kiss? No, not yet. You're not even supposed to see him yet. No, 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 no. Why is the horse in the church? Y'all, she thinks he's super whores. What is going on? First of all, we're gonna send, uh, we're gonna send Peter down the aisle. Walk down the damn aisle, hurry up. Stop talking to the horse. Please just go up the aisle. Walk down the aisle. Okay, beautiful. Oh, he's so happy. Yes, he's in love. Woo, here we go. The woman of my life, the woman of my dreams is 
marrying moi. Okay, before we send her down, she's just kind of like hiding in the pews in the corner of the church real quick. We're gonna go ahead and equip her bouquet. There we go. Oh my God. Why is the, what? what is the horse doing? You guys, this is not okay. First of all, we need to turn everyone's autonomy off. At this point, you guys, the autonomy is off. Okay, I need this horse <laughs> to go somewhere. Just like leave the church. Um, I don't think horses are allowed. Get out of the church. Get out of the church. Hurry up. Oh, <gasps> y'all. Wait, 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 wait. What is happening? <laughs> wait. You guys. You guys. You guys. What? <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> My game is broken. <laughs> Peter, Peter, pumpkin eater, come over here. Why are you sitting down? Go there. And then we will send her up the aisle, or down the aisle. Walk down the aisle, por favor. Oh, here she comes. What is that? What is that walk? <laughs> is that how you feel? Is that really how you feel? We are going to go ahead and get married all right exchange vows <gasps> oh my gosh exchange vows with a fish in we're just gonna exchange vows and kiss we'll be fine honestly the priest should be here but it, it'll be okay katarina just left <laughs> okay here we go you guys here we go here we go oh she got rid of her bouquet all right <laughs> <laughs> Did he almost just fall asleep? What in the world? Oh, you make his. Oh no, here we go. Okay, he's giving her a ring. Oh, so special. Oh. What was that? What is that? Does she have to pee? She, I think she has to pee. <laughs> Let's hurry up. Okay, there we go. Yay! Oh my god, there was pigeons! Wait, wait. You you guys, there's pigeons. You guys, that's so cute! Uh, okay, hold on. You know me. I gotta take a picture. Now, did all my guests stay in their seats? My mother and my horse. You know what? We're just gonna go. <laughs> oh my goodness, that's so cute! Oh, I love that. This place is is just gorgeous. This church, I don't mean to like toot my own horn or anything, but toot toot. By the way, the bride is not wearing white because that was not a thing until like the late 1800s. I'm pretty sure Queen Victoria was the one who influenced white wedding dresses. Can we go ahead and ceremony activities? I've never done this before. Have guests throw rice. And then we're going to go ahead and um send up the aisle two Sims. And we're gonna go me and me and him. We're gonna send up and the guests are gonna throw rice at us. Oh, look, oh my goodness, they're throwing rice. Oh my God, this is so cute, this is so cute, this is so cute, this is so cute, this is so cute. This is so freaking adorable. They just walked around the horse like he wasn't even there. <laughs> Oh my God, oh my God, that is so adorable. Uh, you guys, that was so cute. Okay, 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 okay. I'm just like, I'm just, I'm just so happy right now. So we have our little spot right here. We're gonna throw our cake on this counter. We're gonna add a wedding cake topper and then I'm gonna have the sister go over here, serve all, I guess. And then we're going to fill the fountain with chocolate, I guess. Oh my God, Toffee is just like wanting to be a part of all of this. Like he wanted to watch us get married married and all that stuff. What else do we have to do? We have to cut the cake. We have to do our first dance and just have dancing in general. I need to hire a harpist. Okay, so I think before anything else, where is my bride? Where is Katarina? Katarina is in the church. I think she's talking to her sister. We'll um go to the bathroom and then we're gonna go cut the cake with Peter. This guy is just jigging to nothing. Lucia. I, I mix up her name. Sometimes it's Lucia, sometimes it's Lucia. Let me know what you, what you prefer but um she's gonna come over here and be like dude what are you 
you doing? Praise Sim Jesus. Praise Sim Jesus. Be like, I thought Peter would never get married. Who's playing the guitar? Oh, this guy. Who is this? Entertainer. I told you to play the harp. But I guess we'll play this. Okay, is she out of the bathroom yet? Okay, hurry up. We need to have our first dance. Click on a dance floor or your significant other and slow dance with them. Okay. Gather for the first dance. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Here we go. New family dynamic between Lucia and Peter. Aw, they like each other. <laughs> That's a good sis. Thank you, sis. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh, burping. She's burping. <laughs> oh, what is ha what is her arm doing? Uh, that is okay. <laughs> Oh, cute. But I really wish her arm would stop doing that. That was such a sh**. Dancing is in my bones. He likes dancing. Sure, Peter, whatever whatever makes your heart happy. But personally, I'm going to actually just use the mod because I think that has a better animation than whatever the hell we just witnessed. So we're going to go to romance. Slow dance with Katarina. Okay, Puffy. <laughs> just all up in everyone's business. Get out of my bananas, bro. Everyone is like dancing in a way that's just, I just feel like is inappropriate for the music. <laughs> my goodness, they're so cute. There we go. See, that's all I asked. That's all I wanted. Look at everyone else. <laughs> Girl, Mikey, my Mikey, get out of my bananas, please. Everyone else is so distracting. The way they look at each other. She loves him so much. We're good. We did our first dance. All right, perfect. Now we just have to cut the cake. Everyone's been eating already and sitting in my chairs, but um, it's fine. So ceremony activities, gather for cake. Maybe that'll get every. Oh, we have 24 hours to pay some bills. Oops. So cut wedding cake. Everyone's gonna gather, right? <laughs> kind of turned on right now. What about you? Oh my gosh. Should we do it somewhere? Should we just like say screw all these other people? Let's say ditto. Let's say ditto. Okay, so now what? Are we gonna go woohoo somewhere? Not in the church, y'all. Not in the church. But is that what you're gonna do? Can you stop eating your damn cake? She's like, you wanna go back in the church real quick and um, consummate this marriage? Oh my god. Are you really gonna go do it in the church though? That's blasphemous. Oh my god, not in the church, you guys. Guys, you guys, you guys. They're gonna go in a pew i bet where are you going where are we where are we going right here god is watching you no joke god is watching you this is not okay what is happening um they consummated it we're right under god indivisible with liberty and justice for all all that stuff guys this is so bad is anybody else in the church like lock the door at least i can't even lock the door toffee's like are y'all ready to go i've been here for hours and i'm ready oh my goodness oh <gasps> You got, no, that's not, that's not right. <laughs> we're gonna bring Lucia here so I can get her out of my family. So we're gonna not control her, but thank you for helping me make this wedding perfect. It was so not perfect. Okay, we'll, we'll let them finish and then I'm gonna stop controlling her and add her to my family. We still got her uncle sitting here just doing the jig. Just her sisters are really left and the entertainer and Lucia's date actually, I guess. <laughs> you didn't even walk her home or anything. Uncle Quinn is, is a party animal. He is down to party whenever, wherever, for whatever reason, he is a party animal. So I just got these two back to the cottage and, you know, he just gave her the, oh my God, this is a deep ass kiss. And uh, don't mind her face. It's wrong on so many levels. I know. Okay. But don't mind her face. It is going to rain. Oh no. But before we do anything, oh, that was so cute. And you guys, as soon as they got home, her belly just got huge. Oh my goodness. Well, first, First, before anything, I want to give her a forehead kiss. I, 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 I guess I downloaded this mod. Oops. That offers more kisses. So you go to romance, physical intimacy, more kisses. And we have admire and kiss, amorous kiss, forehead kiss, frenzied kiss, grab and kiss, hug and surprise kiss, searing kiss, shy kiss, and steamy kiss. And I chose forehead kiss and then they just started kind of like making out all slow and stuff. So I'm not sure what that was. <laughs> but um, we're going to go ahead and do admire and kiss. I do think that he absolutely loves this woman. So before we do anything else, um, we're going to give her another kissy wissy and oh my goodness he like pulled her hair aside oh my goodness this is so cute uh, oh he just giggled that was so freaking cute you guys they love each other and he has a surprise for her i'm glad that you're finally home welcome home oh my goodness this is your new home and i have a surprise for you a nice little wedding present so let's go over to the barn by the way we have a barn now so we're gonna go here 
with our love. And he's like, your your gift is in the barn. She's just making her way downtown, walking fast, strangers pass, and she's homebound. So we did spend most of our money. We had like thousands of dollars for whatever reason, but we spent most of our money on creating a new barn for our horsies to be comfortable in the rain and the cold months. We're just gonna wait for him to come on over here, I guess. Oh, no, didn't ride the horse. So, Katarina, your surprise is just through the, this door. In fact, you know what? Let's just go through the human door. We're gonna go here and have him go here. And he's gonna be like, just follow me through that door and you'll see your surprise and we can go to bed and get cleaned up and all that stuff. <laughs> they really, really are stinky. So this is her brand new horse. Oh, she's backing up. This is Phoebe and he got her this horse as a wedding gift. So we're gonna go say hi to Phoebe, your new horse, I guess. You can't ride the horse while she's pregnant though. So she won't be able to actually do anything for a little while. We're gonna go ahead and rub Phoebe's neck. Like, oh my gosh, Peter, she's so beautiful. She's absolutely gorgeous. Oh, okay, what are you doing? <laughs> Phoebe, chill. <laughs> oh, wow. Peter, she's gorgeous. She's beautiful. She's like only the most beautiful horse for the most beautiful woman. Oh my goodness. Can you imagine just being gifted a horse? Encourage? No, we're gonna tell a joke. We could have these two breed. That could be cute. If I can handle it. I don't know. This farm is kind of small. Sorry. Are you making fun of the chickens? The chickens are not going to like that very much. Oh, Phoebe, what's wrong? Oh, she's just not having very much fun. Go to sleep or something. Go to sleep. And then I need you to go take a shower. I realize it's going to be cold. So just take a steamy one. I'm going to have him prepare some dinner or just a snack, I guess. Just something for them. To um, Teas and ales and wine. Ooh, we can have some hot milk. That's free. <laughs> we already have milk. So let's just make some. He cannot believe that she actually married him, you guys. And they're about to have a family. Like, and obviously she didn't just get pregnant just tonight. She got pregnant the first time she came over the, <laughs> to this cottage. But uh, we ain't gonna talk about that. But um, yeah, so I cannot wait to have this little family growing. Look at her belly. It's actually raining. You really don't even need to take a shower like right there. So this is her everyday outfit that she just, she was like, I need to get comfortable and change into my comfortable dress. So this is what she wears usually, like on the daily. Is there anything for us to do? I guess we can just go ahead and sweep right away. I don't know. Sweep to perfection. Make yourself useful. Just get something done. And he's like, so we have another surprise. Um, tomorrow we're gonna go see um a musician at the at the theater that they just opened up on the docks. And she's like, honey, that's amazing. Thank you so much. So he's gonna grab one because he's just so parched right now. Grab a serving. Oh, oh, he doesn't like it. <laughs> Was that not good? Oh, the quality's poor. Well, that's your fault. I know. Well, make a better thing. Okay, he is suffering. So let's go um, use this. He's gonna use the outhouse and then we're gonna take a shower because no one wants to lay next to a man who smells like the farm. After he does that, he'll just be pretty tired and that'll be fine. The horse is hungry. Ooh, we're gonna have to pay this time. So we're gonna refill this feeder. She's gonna go ahead and grab herself some milk too. Just grab a serving. I think they might woohoo again, to be honest with you, but it's gonna be like a regular woohoo because I feel like Wicked Whims is broken. She's like, oh, he's not, he's not really a cook cook, is he? <laughs> she's like, oh, I'm gonna have to probably do all the cooking from now on. Um, So she's gonna go use the outhouse. Go ahead and use that Miss Pregnant Lady. Pregnant ladies have to do that a little more often. Did you fill the feeder, Peter? Feeder, Peter. <laughs> you didn't fill it. Refill the feeder. Come on now, I ain't playing with you, Peter. Perfect. So now I'm gonna have you take a shower and then as your reward, hello, Come on, as your reward for taking a shower, you're gonna woohoo with your wife again. Yeah, we're just gonna um, enjoy the rest of our wedding night together. Well, I guess it's technically Monday now. Time goes by so fast in the sim world, but yeah, so we're gonna get that done. And then she actually has wood in her inventory. She did go get wood. So I'm going to have Ha go ahead and light the fireplace. I have a mod in where they have to collect wood and all that stuff to actually light a fire. So she's got that going for us. She's already over here taking care of the home. Look at her. Oh my goodness. <laughs> She's like, oh, this would be perfect if this milk wasn't disgusting. Can we please mop that after you mop? Woohoo with Pita. Look, even that is like old medieval. It looks like the broom. Go inside. It's raining. Peter. <laughs> 
Yes. Okay, she's like, do you want to go ahead and celebrate one more time? He's like, of course I do. Katarina has learned Peter's woohoo interests. All right, guys, get on into bed and get on into the woohoo. Oh, look at her PJs. She's so cute. Okay, so these two lovebirds are going to consummate a second time. Seriously, how cute are these two? They're cuddling in bed, but I need to get him out of bed right now. We need to go take care of the cow. I feel like the cow has not been taken care of in a hot minute. So, oh, she just kissed his forehead. Uh, all right, he's gonna get up and I think she's just gonna make breakfast quick or she's gonna keep sleeping. Me as hell. I think my husband be getting up and I'm like, ah, uh, five more minutes. So he needs to go over here and we need to clean Clara and feed her. And then we need to maybe clean the shed too. And then we need to take care of the chickens, collect some eggs, clean the coop and scatter feed nearby. And then we should be good. And then we need our little misses here. Once she's good enough to get out of bed, we will go and make some breakfast. So cooking, we'll just make gruel. I know no one likes gruel, but we'll just do a family size for now. So there's enough for both of us. All right, get on out of bed pretty lady she looks really pregnant you guys super duper pregnant all right pretty lady go ahead and make some food and make sure our husband comes in like nice and full and happy before we go see the show tonight this is kind of like gonna be their little honeymoon i guess and i think it's perfect you know they don't have the money to just like go just anywhere they'll be fine and she can't ride a horse either so they're gonna have to walk <laughs> we're gonna have to leave our horses here so he's cleaning the shed brilliant we have baby chicks Oh no, starving. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. You're definitely gonna get fed before we leave. That's for sure. He's good, he's energized. He's feeling great, just married. The promise of a lifetime of companionship would make any Sim happy. Oh. Yeah, we got some eggies. Now let's go ahead and clean and feed the chickens. And then we'll be good to go. Did she finish the gruel? Yes, indeedy. Okay, grab yourself a serving. Why is Dominic fires? How do you know Dominic? He says, congratulations on getting married to Peter. I hope you two are very happy together. Yeah, I'm sure we'll be, I'm sure we'll be very happy. Let's move this bowl maybe over to the counter so he can sit down next to her. Oh, not you, not you. I'm sure you want two servings since you're prego and everything, but no. Grab a serving of the gruel. All right, so now that our animals are officially taken care of for the day. He can go in and have some breakfast. Perfect timing too. Oh, we have some roses too. Oh my gosh. Uh, we really need to garden. Oh my gosh. The work just never ends on a farm. It really just doesn't. I can't wait for us to have kids that can help us. So she may need to just clean this up clean that and we'll be good to go. How amazing is it? You have a wife, Peter, and you are a husband. I just can't get over it. When I first got married, I was like, do I really say husband and wife? Like that's a thing. I feel so grown up. It's crazy. So she's going to go ahead and put the rest of these away. I said that in a really weird way. <laughs> put it away. Mecca. What? You can't? Coffee. Why not? Girl, just put it on the counter then. I'll do it. These damn Sims are so lazy. I have to do everything around here. Maybe we should just get rid of this, actually. Let's just clean this up. No one enjoys it. So <laughs> she's like, honey, I love you, but this milk was terrible. <laughs> so I'm just gonna throw it out. He's like, yeah, I agree. I agree. It's it's horrible. So it is 9.30. It's, it's not even like super late in the day. So I wanna kiss her again. I wanna use that mod just one more time before we leave because I just think it's so cute physical intimacy more kisses we should do like a like a frenzied kiss oh my gosh what is that gonna look like he's like come here my lady oh my god uh, they're so freaking cute he's touching her butt he's touching the butt oh oh my god oh my god that is so cute uh no <laughs> Like, it's not even fair how cute that was. That was so adorable. That doesn't even scream frenzy. That just screams like romance, you know? It's so, so cute. Where am I from kissing? Peter is feeling dizzy with love after that steamy kiss with his partner. So we're gonna go over to, I, I don't know. Let's, let's, let's just check the map real quick. This is Dreamland. I just added, it's called Poseidon Square because it's right on the docks. And this used to be a fish market, but we changed it up a little bit. This is the um, market square. We got the tavern and inn here. And this is actually also an inn. You can stay here if you want. Maybe we should. Uh, maybe that could be our little, um, little getaway. 
way. Anywho, let's go over to the lounge with Katarina. All right, you guys, welcome to Poseidon's Square. Now, before we really get into it, I just want to show you around and like tell you what I was thinking, like what was in the thought process when I built this and all that jazz. So uh, this should not be here. <laughs> Why the fish are just like hanging out. So let's just get rid of these. All right, we're good. Um, So this is Poseidon Square. Um, A lot of fishermen just come here. That's why there's ships everywhere. Just to like enjoy the shows that go on here. This is our acting stage. Like where they put on plays and stuff. There's also a children friendly one right here. And then they sell food at these various vendor shops and stuff. And there's a bathroom here. There's also a bathroom inside. Now I'm hoping that there's like someone at the bar at least. There's like no one here. Okay, all right, cool. We have Rosalie Deal at the bar. I guess we could just sit together at the bar for now and um, just kind of see, you know, what they got going on. Obviously, there is not a play here. But yeah, like in the olden medieval times, um, they used to put plays on in like just like regular, I don't know, like wagons that were about this size and just in the middle of the square because that's just what they did after the Roman Empire. Oh, she can't do anything. Can you order food at least? Let's see. Is she hungry? Oh no, they just had breakfast, didn't they? So this is the little bar area or you can get food here. And you know, they just order regular schmegular stuff here. You can sit on the tables or sit at the tables. I mean, there's like a little animal hole in the wall. Like it's literally a hole in the wall, this place. And then if you go up the stairs, you are greeted by, this is the little arts place, like where they put on musical shows. And um, when you walk in, they have this little place right here where you sign your name with the little quill and ink here. Um, on that piece of paper and then you can put in a coin or however much donation you want to add to see the show and then they also have this here where you can serve yourself some liquor or whatnot and if you stay too late or you get too drunk to ride your horse back home or you know direct your ship or anything you can go up this ladder and you are greeted by um, the the like hotel inn part of the place. So this is the bathroom for the people who are staying at the inn or who are just, you know, watching a show or whatever. They all have single beds. This one has two singles or you could go up an another ladder in this room and you're greeted with the upper floor with a big bed. I don't know what's going on with my icons though. That's kind of worrying. <laughs> so we're just gonna, I don't know, maybe he can grab some ink. I think we'll spend 90 simoleons to actually fill this up and then he's gonna grab himself a drink and we're gonna wait for the next show which should be shortly I guess I'm not sure girl you are supposed to be wearing something else all right do you have another outfit maybe I'll just copy this one all right she's a blonde now <laughs> so Peter's just gonna keep enjoying these ales maybe get a little bit juiced up before we have um, another show upstairs. Oh my God, he's not double fisting. Peter, you're out of control. You are out of control. Well, we're gonna gather um, over to the play area. Let's just go here together. And um, we're just gonna wait for the um, musicians to get here. And we're gonna watch a little bit of a show. Oh my goodness, it is so early. Like it's not even noon, so. I can definitely see why this place is kind of empty right now. Technically lodges or lounges, aren't they like a nighttime thing usually? Oh well, go ahead and light this thing oh. so uh, we can get some fire going in here, some ambiance. Let's sit in the front row. He's like, come my love, we shall wait for the musicians together. Oh, look, they got front row seats. All right, let's wait for the musicians to get here. Peter's happy. <laughs> He's excited. Boy, don't stand up. Oh, she was off key for a second. going on and her hands are not moving that much.
Oh my God. Is there a naked person in here? Laurel, what are you doing? Laurel has outfits. I don't know why she keeps choosing to not wear her outfit. She has probably the most time appropriate outfit ever and she chooses to walk around naked. Katarina is actually like super enthralled in what this harpist is doing. Like she's actually very curious. Like, wow, that looks like something I might really enjoy. Maybe we could um, save up to get a harp or something. She might actually really enjoy that. Looks like she's really enjoying this show. We also did forget to put a coin in the little coin thing. So we're going to go ahead and drop a simoleon. Wait, we have to go minus one at it. And so now we paid for our show. <laughs> Aww. This is a cute little show. I love it. It's raining so hard outside. So I'm really glad that there's not a play going on and it's, it's just some music in the building. So I think I'm gonna end the episode soon because my game is glitching. I like can't even see my icons anymore. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We're definitely gonna end this. <laughs> Actually, probably at this part right here. She's glitching like a mofo. So thank you all so much for watching. I really hope that you all enjoyed. Let me know what you think in the comments down below and I will see you all in my very next video. Bye, loves. Mwah.